Now, one mm-hmm. thing I've noticed is the best thing about the Bartle Mag Probe Solenoid Valve and Relay Tester is it's it's made in the United States by Americans, and you actually invented it, and you are uh, an American veteran. Is that right, Bob? Yeah, I am, of the Air Force. Uh, I spent, uh, in fact, about three years on in research and development at Edwards Air Force Base on aircraft, and I was in the primary standards lab when I was there. I dealt directly with the National Bureau of Standards transferring uh, standards to Edwards Air Force Base to use on the experimental aircraft. Rather critical job there. And while I was there, I wrote a modification for the uh, one of the fighter aircraft that was adopted. And General Dynamics modified the airplane for it. That's kind of interesting. So basically, I know you're not going to blow your own horn, but your claim to fame as far as your thinking goes and your processes in your mind do uh, you probably owe a lot to the training that you got in the military and the Air Force? Oh, absolutely. It was uh, interesting because they had a competitive exam to start a new career field while I was in there. And only 4% in the Air Force passed it, which I did. And then I attended a school which was uh, uh, nine months of nothing but physics, five hours a day, in which I successfully completed without having any problems in the school. So you basically have a passion for physics and electronics and the way everything kind of works like that. Is that pretty much it? Oh, absolutely. Ever since I was a boy, building model airplanes and U-Control and uh, working with resonant frequencies, building my own crystal set and so forth. But it's been very, very interesting. And it was uh, interesting because I would lay in bed sometimes at night and read about all the inventors and what they did. And I was just <laughs> fascinated by that. It just, I was just, what a way to live. And, and I've done it now. I've got... Uh, for scientific patents now. So if you if you had to say something to all the inventors out there that are struggling and fighting and you know that got good ideas because there's a lot of very creative minds in this country what what advice would you give them as far as you know g- give me a simple answer here if you could but you know what advice would you give them <laughs> about uh, how they could do it and who to trust and and basically what their frame of mind should be in going into the inventor world. Well, you just keep doing what you believe in, what you enjoy doing, and you learn about it because you have to have a background basically before you get into it. Not too extensive, but quite a bit. You know, it has to be a first love. But uh, the thing about it is one thing I've discovered and you need, which I'm getting here, is you need marketing. Once you get the product perfected and it works, now how do you tell people here it is? You can sit there with the greatest product in the world, but if you don't have marketing, you're not going to go very far. Right. Okay, thanks.